to uh, I went to Atlanta probably about five years ago with Kevin White. We were doing a room just north of Atlanta, the Bonkers, up in Roswell. And uh, after the show, we always ask the locals where we need to go. And someone said, the Clearmont Lounge. And I'm like, what is it? They're like, we can't tell you what it is. It's just an experience. You got to go. The hotel itself is condemned. Like, you can look inside and see boards and planks and everything down on the ground. You can't go in. And then there was just, like, a homeless dude. He's like, y'all looking for the Claremont? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Yeah, we are. You go down that alley. And, and we walk inside, and uh, it is the mo- it's, it's, like, it's, it's, it's supposed to be a strip club. Okay. But it's, like, their slogan is where strippers go to die. <laughs> I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> it is the most. You can't close your eyes in there. You, but they're like, there's a girl named Barbie, and she crushes beer cans with her breasts. And you're just thinking to yourself, man, that must be a good-looking blonde with, like, triple Ds and everything else. It was a midget Tina Turner. <laughs> <laughs> she had to be 75, and she had those pancake flappy National Geographic. And the way she would crush the beer can, there was no sexiness about it. She put a beer can on the table, lift the flapjack up, and just let gravity take its <laughs> toll. <laughs> and it was the I told Kevin that night after like three medicine shot glasses full of Jameson, I'm like, my first album is gonna be my curly live from the Claremont Lounge. <laughs>